Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, another game recap. So, today the Yankees got their butts kicked by the Tampa Bay Rays to a score of 12 to nothing. So, without further ado, because there's really not much to talk about today uh, with this recap, let's go and dive into it. So, the Yankees, like I said, they lost 12 nothing. They didn't score any runs on five hits and two errors. And it was a close game for the most part. Uh, it was a 2 nothing game up into the bottom of the seventh inning, and then the, the, the Rays put up an eight spot. Uh, and then added two more in the eighth to, to kind of put it out of reach. Um, when you look at the offensive output for the Yankees, Torres uh, went 0 for, so you know he finally didn't record a hit in one of his starts. He had a, he was off to a good start. Peraza, uh, one of the low, one of the only highlights in the uh, in the offensive side of the baseball, uh, going one for three. Uh, Trevino went one for three as well. And other than that, uh, the other other name to kind of look at is Pereira. Uh, he went one for three with a strikeout. So, you know, there wasn't a lot of regulars in today's lineup. Uh, you know, it was just really Torres, Peraza, and Trevino. Uh, other than that, you know, you got Sweeney got in at bat. Defoe was in there as the as you know the invite to spring training to play to, for the left field spot. Uh, McKinney made it made a p- appearance as well. So, you know, it was kind of just like the and Ortega is there as well in left field. So it was kind of just like a minor league squad with with the subtraction of Peraza, Trevino, and Glaber. And they face Springs, who is a major league pitcher. So, uh, you know, and again, you know, when you look at these numbers and you look at the score, remember, remember it's spring training. You know, don't panic because they got their butts kicked by the Rays 12-0. It doesn't mean anything. You know, it's again, it's, it, this is just to get the guys ready to go get them so, so the Yankees can see people in certain situations and go from there. And, you know, quietly, Spencer Jones, he's got like eight strikeouts already. I think that he's struck out in almost every single at bat in the in spring training. And, you know, hopefully this experience will help him and he'll be able to perform when they send him to minor league camp when they have to cut the rosters down because he's not going to get – I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it past the first cut. Uh, so that's just on the offensive side of the ball. So on the pitching side, it doesn't get much better. Boyle started three innings, two runs on two hits, two walks, three strikeouts to get up a home run. Um, the only bright spot in the, in the pitching side of the ball is Nick Ramirez. Nick Ramirez pitched with the Padres last year, uh, kind of a journeyman lefty. In the last video, I said that Peralta is the only lefty in the bullpen as of right now. And maybe Ramirez is making the case to be the second. He pitched one inning uh, today with three strikeouts. He has two innings pitched in spring training, and he hasn't given up any runs or hits. So he's pitching really well. Now, the other pitcher that I kind of want to cover that was kind of a big deal when he signed was uh, Tyler Danish. Uh, And he didn't even record an out. Uh, four hits, six runs, six earned runs, two walks. Did not pitch well at all. So, you know, hopefully he could figure it out because he does have major league experience and he can help the bullpen. Uh, hopefully he could figure it out and today was just a one-off. But that's pretty much it um, with this game. This game moves the Yankees to 3-2. and two, And that's pretty much the recap for this game. My top hat award player... For this game is Nick Ramirez because of striking out the side in one inning in relief. Uh, there was really nothing else, who else to pitch, but Nick Ramirez. Hopefully, he can continue his hot spring and make the team and add that to that lefty depth in the bullpen because the Yankees do need it. So make sure you guys like the video. Tell me what you guys think. Do you Would you pick somebody else for the top hat award? And it was tough to kind of cover this game because this game was not broadcasted. It wasn't, I didn't see it on the S app. I mean, I couldn't even get on the S app. It was down. Uh, it wasn't on the S network. It wasn't on MLB.tv. Uh, it wasn't on the app. Uh, so I, you know, I'm just going based off the numbers on the sheet. So tell me what you think of the new format. This is the second video with the format. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.